Hi friends, my name is Sophie and today we're doing a lower body glute and thigh cardio workout. So you don't need any equipment for today. We're not repeating any exercises, so it's going to be super fun. It's going to fly right by and we will start with a warm up in just a moment. Starting with our warm up, we're going to just do some ankle rolls for 30 seconds. So lean your weight into one foot, lift the other foot up, and we start to take some circles there. We'll spend about half of the time on one, half of the time on the other. So switch directions if you haven't already. Doing the other direction. We're gonna be spending a lot of time on our feet today and our ankles, so this is really important. Now let's switch feet. Going in one direction. Good, and then we'll go in the other direction. All right, and then slow butt kickers. So just slowly kick yourself in the butt. Reach your arms up and take cactus with your arms. Keep going, arms up, cactus. Couple more times. Today's workout is gonna be challenging, I suspect. I haven't done it yet but from the looks of it, it's gonna be hard. Okay, now we're gonna open up the hips. One leg at a time, just opening, making circles. Moving that femur bone in the hip socket so that we really get a good movement and get prepared for our workout. 10 more seconds. You can start to feel the burn already. I can at least. Okay, now reach your arms up and lift one leg and reach your hands to your leg. So the standing toe touches. If it's too much with the arms, you can just put your hands on your hips and lift your legs. Ten more seconds. Then we're going to jump rope. All right, jump rope. After this, we're gonna do regular butt kickers, kind of like we're jogging. That's gonna be the end of our warm up. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Butt kickers. So feel free to run around. You don't have to stay in place. Keep the hands loose. Breathe in through your nose, out of your mouth. For as long as you can. Almost there. Five more seconds. And rest. Okay, I'll see you in just a moment for our workout. All right, guys, we got 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off each exercise. We're gonna start with squats, just regular squats in five seconds. Take your feet a little wider than your hips and go down and up. Getting low, keeping the shoulders up. So again, we're not repeating any exercises today. So you have 40 seconds to do each one right to the best of your ability. We have 15 more seconds. So we got five seconds. And rest, okay. We have 15 second rest and then we're doing squat in and out. So we're gonna be in a squat again. So stay right here in this position. We start in five seconds. In three, two, one, you go down, out, in. So remember today's cardio and lower body. So we are gonna be getting the heart rate up a lot.
If you get tired, you can always pause for a moment and then get right back to it. Try to stay low. Keep those knees back. 10 more seconds. Three more seconds. And rest. Whew. So lunges. Start with your right leg back. Well, we have eight seconds, so give you, I got ahead of myself there. <laughs> okay, now right leg back. And we're gonna go up and down. Go. Try to get your knee just an inch above the ground. If your foot is too close in, you're gonna, it's gonna hurt your knee and you're gonna be looking like this. So I really want you to take your leg far back. We have 15 more seconds. Keep going. Five more seconds. Rest, shake it out. All right, in 10 seconds, we're gonna take the left leg back. Ready, set, go. Shoulders back, steady breath. I love a good no repeat workout because it really does make it go by fast. You can probably already hear my breathing, already kind of out of breath. <laughs> So this is good, this is what the body wants and needs. We have five more seconds. Rest, shake it up. So for the next one, we're just pulsing with the leg. So take your right leg back again and then come down just a little bit lower and then we pulse. We bounce really up and down. We're really burning out those muscles. You feel it in both quads. And in this one, the left glute is working. Embrace your core. I said embrace, embrace your core, but also embrace it. Ooh, my power just went out for a sec. And then it went back on, right on camera. Well, that's cool. Kinda. Five more seconds. Rest. Oh, that hurt. All right, left leg back. Ready, set, go. Same thing. We bounce. In through the, through the nose, out of the mouth. Second side is gonna be harder for sure because you've already, because now those back, the muscles in the back leg are burnt out, right? So that's why it feels harder. We have 15 more seconds. Come on, stay with it. Sometimes I like to put my hands behind my head as a distraction. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest, shake it out. Ooh, we are gonna feel this tomorrow. Next one, you're not gonna like very much, but you're gonna stay with me. We're gonna run in place. In three, two, one, get low, and we run in place. On your toes, heels lifted. Let's see if we can get through this one without stopping. I don't know. Oh man, try to stay low. We have 15 more seconds. Almost there, get lower. Almost there. Rest. 
Oh my gosh. <sighs> All right, we got four jumping jacks and four butt kickers. Shake it out before we get started. Ready, three, two, one, go. We're halfway. Let's see if my headband lasts. You guys did not, do not want to see what my hair looks like under this headband. <laughs> Five more seconds. And rest. Plank leg lifts. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Lift that leg up high, but keep your butt low. Core engaged. So you should really feel it in the glutes, the quads. Squeeze your glute as that you bring each leg up. We have 15 more seconds. One more exercise after this before break. Rest. Okay, stand that up. One more exercise. We'll do high knees. Roll those shoulders. Get prepared mentally. Ready, set, go. So I like to have the hands here so I can get my knees up to my hands. So you could do that too. Twenty more seconds. Modification, you could always do one knee at a time. Marching, essentially. Five seconds. Rest. Whew. 45 second rest. Take it. Grab some water. About to start up again, get ready. If you need a longer rest, hit pause. Hit that space bar. Otherwise, get ready with me. We're gonna go to a squat, lunge, squat to lunge. In two, one, squat. Stay low, lunge your right leg back. Squat, left leg back. I'm always trying to breathe in through the nose, out of the mouth. I recommend trying for as long as you can to preserve your breath, preserve your energy. We have 10 more seconds. Rest. All right. Next up is a side lunge squat. Shake those legs out. I like to give him a punch or a slap. <laughs> All right, in three, two, one, go. Side lunge, squat. Side lunge, squat. So in your side lunge, or in your squat, your feet are still wide. In your side lunge, your left leg is long, or whatever opposite leg that is that you're doing. We have 20 more seconds. Feel the burn. Ten more seconds. If it gets to be too much, just skip the squat. You can just stand. You can side lunge, 
Then you can stand. And rest. Okay. Obviously, we have a number side number two to do. Two, one, go. Twenty more seconds. Almost there. Five more seconds. And rest. <sighs> Jumping lunges. I'm smiling because these are hard. I'll give you a modification, don't worry. So when you jump, you're gonna be jumping back and forth. Ready, go. Now your modification is you can just step to the front and step back. You could even do a little hop at the front if you want. All right, or full on jumping, which is really hard to do for 40 seconds. But if you can, that's awesome. Just keep with it. Fifteen more seconds. Almost there. Woo. Come to the ground. Bridge. You're gonna start with your right leg up. Lift it up. Hands down and press through your left heel and lift. Up like that. Squeeze through your left glute. Lift your left toes, you're just on that left heel. That's gonna make it more effective, force you to use your hamstrings more. We're halfway. Ten more seconds. Stay with me. Three, two, one. Good news is you get to rest right here on the ground. Feet together, knees wide. Always feels good, like butterfly. All right, let's set back up. Take your left leg up. Lift your right toes and go. Ten seconds in. Just look straight up to the ceiling so your neck is aligned. If you have constant neck problems like I do, it's gotten a lot better for me, but I used to, then you want to just try to keep your neck in line with your spine as much as possible. Not overstrain it. Ten more seconds. And of course, regular stretching and myofascial release is good for that. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, stand up. Now we have a squat kick. A note about squats, if you have long legs compared to your body or just long legs in general, wider squats are gonna feel a lot better for you. All right? Three, two, one. Squat, and then we kick. Yeah, wider squats are gonna give you more space to get low without your back leaning forward. Let's see if we can pick up that pace a bit to get the cardio and endurance, cardiovascular endurance in there a little bit more. 15 more seconds. You are a lot more powerful than you realize and stronger than you realize. Five seconds. Rest. Next up, squat to jump squat. I told you this was gonna be hard. If you want to, just do squats the whole time. Ready, go. So every other one 
is a jump or not. Or hey, if you want more, do squats, uh, jump squats the whole time. We're halfway. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. High knee hold. Move my time roamer over so I can see it better. Okay. High knee hold in five seconds. Go. So you're bouncing every third one. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. Halfway. Modification. Two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Rest. Breathe. Sumo squat hold is next. In five seconds, take your feet really wide. Toes slightly out, go down. And we bounce. You can just hold, but I like to bounce. Makes it a little easier. Make sure you're not leaning too far forward with your knees. You're sitting back. Maybe drawing your tailbone down just a little bit. Just a little bit, not tucking too much. Shoulders back. We have 12 more seconds. Stay low. I know, I know. Almost there. Rest. Break. Those legs are feeling it. is our final break of today. Our final section of exercises. Let's get ready, 10 seconds before we start up again. We're gonna be doing our split jump squat. Ready? And go. One, two, squat. We wanna do a nice wide squat for this one. Make sure you're getting low. You could always skip the jumps. Just do regular squats. Twenty more seconds. Try to lead with a different leg each time. Ten more seconds. Three, one, rest. Side lunge, toe touch. You can see what's going on right there. Ready? Go. Side lunge, touch your toe. Same side, whole time. Keep going. 30 more seconds. We're halfway, you guys. Ten more seconds. Rest. Side number two coming up. Ready, set, go. Ooh. 
I promise it won't last forever. <laughs> Even if it feels like it. Make sure you're sitting back into your hip and not pushing that knee forward. Halfway. And rest. <sighs> Jumping jacks are next. Ready? Just regular jumping jacks. And go. Halfway. If you're thinking about giving up now, don't. We're almost there, I promise. Ten more seconds. Rest. Bridges, please. Come on down. Lay on your back. Just regular bridges, but also your stand. Keep your toes up. Ready? Heels down. Go up, down, up with power, and down, up. Down, so you're never resting on the down, you're just going immediately back up. These are gonna feel easy compared to everything we've done already. Halfway. Ooh, I am sweaty and it feels dang good. 10 more seconds. Training ourselves to love this movement. Three, two, one, rest. All right, come onto your, into tabletop. We are doing uh, fire hydrants. So you're gonna take, be taking your leg out to the side, okay? Start with your right leg out. Three, two, one, go. Lift and lower. Now I want you to keep both arms straight. A lot of people start to bend into their left elbow to compensate, don't do that. Keep your core engaged. And don't let your body lean to the left. Keep going. Everything is stable. Your right glute is what's working to lift up. Your left glute is stabilizing. This is gluteus medius, the smaller glute muscle on the side. So important to have strength there. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Other side is next. Left leg is going to be going out to the left. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. We're halfway there. Remember, arms straight, body is strong. Don't compensate by leaning to the right. You're gonna feel it a lot in your right glute as well. 10 more seconds, come on. Three, one, rest. Stand up, two side steps plus two jump squats, all right? Start at the side of your mat. Doesn't matter which side. You get a little bit low. Starting now, we go one, two, jump, and jump. One, two, now skip the jumps. You could do just squats if you want, or just stand there. I can't really see you, so you can technically do whatever you want. But for your own sake, push yourself and listen to your body. 15 more seconds. 
10 more seconds. Come on, let's get one more good one in. Rest. All right, last two exercises. You're gonna come down onto one side, like so, one knee down, facing the side of the mat. Hand on your hip, lift that leg. So again, we're getting those glute muscles on the side. You can feel it, you can put your hand there, you can feel it work. Up and down. It's gonna feel hard, maybe impossible, but you're gonna persevere anyways. Core strong. Make sure your hip isn't going back on it. Almost out in front of you, can you see your right toe? Right toes. Oh, Ooh, that's hard. 10 more seconds. <laughs> Come on. I'm struggling with you. Or maybe you're not struggling. Two, one, rest. Oh my. Oh my glutes. This is our last one, folks. I never say folks, but felt like saying it. Ready? Go. Second side. It's gonna be hard. You're just gonna do the best you can. It helps sometimes to feel your muscle because you can feel the work that's being done. You can feel that muscle working. We are halfway. Core strong. We have 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Holy moly, you did it, congratulations. That was a tough one, that was fun though. Thank you for being here. Thank you for staying through the whole thing if you did. I'll see you next time. Take care.